Okay, thank you, Shen, for the kind introduction. And good morning, all. Uh, it's a huge pleasure to be here to share my work and get upgraded on the fascinating insights from you guys. And my name is Yumeng. I'm a PhD researcher at the Live for Experimental Museology, uh, working with Prof. Sarah Kenderdine. Uh, in Sarah's open, opening keynote on Tuesday, she gave an illustration of what computational museology has been doing which is, in a nutshell, inspecting the intersection of machine intelligence, graphics, ontologies, hardware, and more generally, new tech inventions to augment cultural heritage storytelling for public access, and especially in museum settings. So my research is under the umbrella term of computational museology, and more specifically, computational archives. The reported, works, uh, the reported work aims to address knowledge encoding for intangible and embodied knowledge in the living heritage of southern Chinese martial arts. The approach integrates different computational tools and involves a collaborative process uniting the masters, namely the knowledge holders, with computer scientists and digital models. So my presentation today, uh, well, is structured as follows. We'll start with an introduction to the research context, the archive and issues first, and then I will debrief the methods with rationales, uh, the implementation results, and finally conclude. So traditional martial arts, with plural registrations on UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage, are treasures of humanities knowledge. But not of the need for safeguarding communities and certain corals, martial practices have been sustained through uh, the creations and recreations of diverse ethnic groups involved into various schools and styles, each including a set of techniques, concepts, uh, philosophies, ideologies, and training systems. As such, Martial arts are arguably a critical carriers of social logic, uh, social cultural memories, and embed the traits of longitudinal interactions between individuals and societies. Southern Chinese martial arts, one of the most prolonged martial arts systems sustained in the Far East, represents such an exemplar. However, the sophisticated martial practices historically passed down via colloquial and in-person transmission are at an increasingly increased risk of being lost. It is, on one hand, due to the extensive efforts required to learn and master the knowledge yourself, while the non-literal and secret line transmission modality, which is the conventional modality of martial art transmission, doesn't help. And this has led to a historical deficiency of martial knowledge documentation and added to the loss of Asian books and manuscripts during the wars and political activities in mainland China throughout the 20th century. And moreover, globalization or westernization uh, from the Eastern Asian perspective uh, and the aging of the masters nowadays have intensified the challenges. The Hong Kong Martial Living Archive, in response to the urgency, uh, or Hong Kong Mala for short, takes a living heritage approach to recall the martial art practices and Kung Fu traditions preserved in Hong Kong. The archive is centered on embodied knowledge. It leverages the state-of-the-art motion capture technologies to record and annotate the martial art sequence performances, which are known as Tao Lu or Form Set, the codified movement sequences used for learning, memorizing, and contextualizing the practice of martial practices. The technical scrutiny of this archive is ensured either by master's performances and re-performances of what has been passed down through generations, or by reenactment from ancient manuscripts with cross-reference validation otherwise. This 4D topology repertoire represents one of the most lavished motion archives in the world today. Uh, Hong Kong Mala has captured more than 130 sequence performances, uh, spanning over 20 Chinese styles, both northern styles and southern styles, and also uh, in collaboration with more than 32 actually 
ever increasing on an ever increasing basis, uh, which is in collaboration with more than 30 monsters. And the data com produced consists of 2D, 3D, and panoramic videos, uh, motion capture, motion over time analytics, images, text, and 3D reconstructions. And the do uh, documentation methods also include ultra high speed video and a collection of multimodal recordings of the rituals, objects, and craftsmanship in relation to the Kung Fu culture. Such a rich archival establishment has enabled various, uh, various scholarship, including a series of exhibitions, articles, chapters, books, pedagogical applications, and aesthetic creations. Nonetheless, the existing dissemination formats require extensive thematic curation efforts, partly because of the complexity of the archival content and also inherently the complexity of embodied knowledge that impedes the public accessibility and the usability of the archive. So holding a new curatorial idea uh, towards offering a portable and accessible archive experience, we start to seek further a systemic organization of Hong Kong Mala content so as to enable an operable way to disseminate martial knowledge at scale. To this end, the emerging field of computational archival science suggests a hybrid integration of machine intelligence with content describing models to address the use of access of digital cultural archives. Notably, the use of ontologies and linked data standards, linked data standards has displayed its promise in interoperating semantic entities based on cultural coordinates. Yet, existing models mostly uh, capture material-based quantities or qualities, whereas the intangible and immaterial components have been sparsely addressed. Therefore, this work sets us go to inspect a formal descriptive uh, representation scheme for the knowledge in traditional martial arts so that the embodied dimensions can be articulated in relation to multifaceted cultural or coordinates in a comprehensive, meaningful, and scalable manner. Tackling the ideal entails investigating three modes of collaboration. First and most essentially, the in-depth exchange between domain experts and computer scientists who mandate the modeling process, and in this case it was me, and this part will be the main course of this presentation afterwards. Um, and the other two layers that were debriefed at the end are the combination of ontology models and auto-recognition algorithms to allow both human-readable and machine-operable representation uh, for the knowledge schemes. And also the co coordination between the data content and knowledge-centric interface design for effective communication dissemination is also important. So, addressing the basic layer, we resort to designing a formal ontology encapsulating the concepts and relations that materialize the domain of traditional martial arts. An initial effort has been reported by my colleague, Dr. Adamo, uh, Alessandro Adamo at DH22, and in relevant articles. It marks the first version of martial art ontology, a three-module conceptualization of traditional martial arts designed by viewing it chiefly as a cultural phenomenon. And the aim was not only to have a general enough conceptual model that described the phenomenal elements in the kinesthetic, stylistic, and social dimensions, but also to link different, different data and subdomains for detecting cultural contact, as reported in our recent drug paper, The Facets of Intangible Heritage in Southern Chinese Martial Arts, Applying a Knowledge-Driven Cultural Contact Detection Approach. And on that basis, taking one step forward, meanwhile switching from phenomenological modeling to knowledge-centered modeling, the renewed martial art ontology V1.1 drills down into the technical dimensions, previously kinesthetic dimensions, with 14 new subclasses and around 50 additional annotation properties and relation types connecting them. In zoom in, 
The technical module especially describes how kinesthetic attributes and motion perception accumulate to acquire the identity of a martial art technique or a form uh, via body manipulations. The module also concerns weapon entities relating to the conceptual realm of material technology and craft techniques. Here, multi-layer conceptualization is possible when a technique or a form is interpreted as a combination of multiple ones. And we also use the tangible elements in the social module, for, uh, for instance, the masters who are person and the institutions who, which look at in a place to bridge and align with CEDUC CRM entities so as to have a pathway to the mainstream standard uh, upper ontology. The design rationale here is that the state of mastery in, um, in traditional martial arts requires cycles of theoretical learning, practical ex exercises, and moving into play as claimed by Italian uh, master Roberto Gotti it is to develop, the goal of training is to develop automatic bodily responses with a creative mind. So on that notion, the conceptualization necessarily involves a multi-layer network of various components specifying a techniques, choreographic, kinetic, and kinesthetic characteristics. Also, pedagogical means such as mnemonic and codified form sites are equally significant as they explain sequential or combinational usage of certain uh, of the techniques in certain contexts. And eventually, interpretations of the stylistic, tactical, symbolic, ideological, and social cultural elements can complete the conceptualization. And as a result, the expanded model ex uh, in encapsulates all such components constructive for martial art knowledge transmission and therefore can serve more serious educational purposes. A plausible domain ontology should return contractual agreements about the meaning of terms in the discipline and capture the accumulated knowledge in different forms. Achieving this requires expert knowledge involvement. In, that, in the case of our ontology development, the entire process involves close collaboration with domain experts, namely the martial arts scholars and Kung Fu masters in Hong Kong. It is achieved in two levels. On the corpus level, the base terminology used to extract uh, the ontological structure was based upon the corpus in the range of scholar-selected uh, scholar materials, uh, such as the foundational books and martial manuals uh, about the three archetypal southern Chinese styles, that is, white queen first, hong ga queen, and Chalifo, arguably they representing the short range, middle range, and long range uh, martial styles in southern China. And moreover, I initiated a research stay in Hong Kong for four months. And during that time, I interviewed the authors of the books who are all grandmasters at this stage, uh, at this age, and I even fought with them and trained with them to, as a way to get their authentic understanding of the techniques and terms. The collaboration on the corpus level also includes using the scholarly curated texts uh, produced from the Hong Kong Mala exhibitions and narratives by martial art practitioners collected through the in-person interviews, actually in-person fightings. And on the annotation level, we contextualize the annotation protocol to ensure the integrity of conceptual annotations. On one hand, we do collective annotation with the masters uh, via classical Excel forms because they find like app application or new interface really complicated for them, so we decide to use just Excel to collect their responses. But we, but in that. Uh, in that forms, we actually only use control vocabulary based tags and predefined property value pairs to limit the complexity and entropy of the master's annotations so that it's easier and more rational for me and also for the scripts to uh, transform their input into ontological formats. And yet, we allow the, use, uh, the masters to append their free text annotations uh, on technical notes and their interpretations. Um, these are not coded into ontological format, but retaining the data side and be useful for other interface design. 
Just to showcase the result and the material, uh, we have published the ontology results in English, uh, the English version, uh, with documentation online, thanks to Load. Uh, it is publicly uh, available now at a permanent URL, such that you can access it, download it, and contribute to it in your own way. We have also uh, deployed a viral interface with the bilingual ontological data file using Neo4g Bloom, as mentioned also in the previous presenters. Uh, Neo4g is a graph database management system, uh, and Bloom is their data visualization tool that can be quickly deployed to visualize the data. And it also allows you to search by clicks and query languages to explore the data set. So in this demo, you can see that I was struggling with my perfectionism by keeping really auditing all the notes. But the true purpose was to explore the forms, uh, like what the forms are and what, uh, the, what are the components, technical components in the form, and what is the technical structure or technical representation of one form or one technique. The network um, in tandem with textual text can also be used to represent an abstract contact, uh, concept, like the bridge principle in Honga system, but connecting uh, different conceptual components that can jointly describe it. So the main course has been served. Now let's move on to the second layer, uh, which is about intelligence and body rec uh, recognition and motion computing. As many researchers have claimed, converting unstructured cultural collections into meaningful semantics is labor intensive. For this reason, an annotation protocol alone can hardly fulfill scalability, while al algorithms can enhance a certain level of automation. And in this light, I look to integrate the semantic structure with a deep learning module that computes feature level similarities in bodily movement. And accordingly, this can be used to support a semi automatic annotation for the Hong Kong Mala dataset. How does it work? Briefly, we extract, extract the body keep on time series from the recordings of martial art performances uh, from both motion capture and the video data alike, and restore the 3D depth inf information for the latter. And we fit these raw features into a high level uh, feature construction using a specialized feature model designed for describing and assessing martial art movement. Uh, on that basis, we devise a motion, uh, a workflow that leverages deep neural network to analyze motion patterns and find the most significant motion unit to represent the pattern of long sequences. And finally, we tested different retrieval methods, including the naive sliding window approach, locality sensitive hashing, and ball chain methods and deployed a high efficiency search engine uh, that can retrieve the media segments based on motion similarity. More details can be found in a recent article titled Unlocking a Multimodal Archive of Southern Chinese Martial Arts Through Embodied Cues, uh, published in Journal of Documentation, and to be included in the special issue of applying artificial intelligence to cultural heritage materials. Or you can catch me, just chat, it, chat about it afterwards. So the final layer here of collaboration is between knowledge computation and knowledge-centered interface design, where the rationale is to integrate semantic representation and motion computing to enable a generous, informative, and interactive interface. Um, the interface that the goal of this interface is to allow users to explore the archive through different pathways and keep exploring with the help of similarity and linkage-based recommendation system. That interface design is not yet definite, but in a running progress, we have some low-fi prototypes here in iteration uh, to showcase the rationale. And in addition, we are working on integrating the interface into an embodied and immersive envi environment so as to establish a link between the body and mindfulness uh, of, uh, to provide a learning experience approximately in situ. And hopefully, I will report it in a while. 
To conclude, the burgeoning use of computational devices have shown an illusion of capacity in handling fine-grained structured data in cultural sectors. Nevertheless, real-world cultural collections and heritage knowledge are complex in nature and require knowledge-specific designs to bridge the gap between an archive and its potential users. So in the type to remedy the gap, uh, the, this presentation introduced a novel unity of ontological modeling, semantic annotation, and feature-based intelligence to facilitate the use of intangible cultural archives in displaying, interpreting, interpreting, and transmitting embodied knowledge within the context of meaning and traditions. The significance of archival searchability and explainability is articulated, and the role of human is addressed. We claim through this experimentation that one crucial goal of computational archives with cultural collections is to create a meaningful user experience to facilitate the representation and dissemination of knowledge embedded in cultural data, rather than exploiting data merely for algorithmic inventions. In the cross-disciplinary uh, investigation of digital humanities topics, the fundamental engagement of humanities experts can be revolutionary. Thank you.